Yo, what is going on guys, Swift Guy here, and today we are back in another uh, Skywars video, and today we actually have a topic to talk about. Uh, if you guys did not know, in recent events, this actually happened uh, very recently, which would be today. Um, AoE, a uh, great friend of mine, as you may may or may not know from uh, a few months ago, he uh, recently just got banned today. He was um, F2 spamming in a... Mega Skywars game on live stream. If you guys did not know, F2 spamming. Yeah. Basically, you know how your screen freezes for ha like half a second when you take a screenshot. Basically, by um, by spamming it repeatedly, you can force like the server to rubber band you back to the spot where you were before you fell off the map. And basically, you can exploit that to get back on the map every time you fall off and essentially AoE was doing that. Now, he was live streaming so other people could obviously see this and wow, that was... <laughs> so, according to AoE, at least from his video explaining it, basically he says that his friend Electros uh, got him banned and this is because um, apparently Electros was watching the stream and like gathered evidence, recorded him abusing this glitch and uh, sent it in and got him banned. And so Electro and AoE got in the call after this event went down and uh, Electro supposedly said, I tried to warn you about doing this earlier and you kept on doing it. So AoE was refusing to listen to Electro's. He had already warned him. He didn't immediately report him and was like, uh, I guess you could say a good friend and uh, you know decide to warn him like you gotta stop doing this okay nice um, but he kept doing it so um, in AoE says in his video which I, I would like to show you but um, considering he has threatened to strike anything that I anything that of his content that I put on my channel he's threatened to um, immediately strike it down so yeah I'm not 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 really worth it risking a strike on my channel you know especially a false strike you know I know AoE is not exactly the nicest nicest person and so AoE has said in his video um, so I trusted you and you backstabbed me me and him are no longer friends and I will never have anything to do with Electro again because of what he did I gave him free YouTube subscribers and then he stabbed me in the back and he also said a real friend would have never done that to me and personally I think that's all bullshit like a real friend would have warned you like he did and told you to stop which accordingly according to AoE himself he did warn him to stop and he didn't so he refused to listen and Electro is basically teaching him a life lesson that like you know there are rules in place in society like in real life as well as Minecraft and you know if you don't follow them eventually there will be consequences that you will have to face like you can't just break the law and just get away with it like there are consequences for your actions and you have to be aware of that and like he wasn't doing it to go after AoE he literally did it because over time someone probably eventually would have reported him like let's be real if he was live streaming that he would have gotten reported eventually so yeah Electro was not in the wrong there also in the video AoE talks about a little bit of an interesting topic I guess you could say um, I don't really know how to introduce it so basically I'll just go into it he said I don't know necessarily why he said this in his video he, he kind of explains it but I don't he didn't really have to do this and it's really just causing more trouble for himself but I am glad he did tell it to all of his subscribers and did bring the truth forward but um basically he admitted to cheating during he said um, November 2016 during season 8 I used a client which um, if you guys didn't know it's season 13 right now so that's kind of a long time ago to have used a client and not said anything about it you know just keeping it in the quiet and not telling anybody you know always being a fair mind man and it's kind of ironic coming from AoE if you guys didn't know AoE constantly complains about hackers and cheaters ruining his games and uh, yet does it himself if you didn't know he's been banned I think two or three times on Badline for cheating he b-hopped on Mindplex because he thought it was funny 
and all that stuff, you know. We, <laughs> the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen in, re in regards to not only hacking, but other stuff as well. And um, basically, he says some stuff. Uh, he says, quote, I'm not going to be that guy that hides in the closet, all right, because, you know, I'm done with pretty much every cheater that does it, which is ironic because season 8, November 2016, was five seasons ago, and, uh, you know, he came out of the closet five months late. And uh, ironically, right after he got banned for blacklisted modifications or F2 spamming, that's the the real reason it says blacklisted modifications, but it's for F2 spamming. And you know, I like how he waited that long too. Instead of coming out by himself, he, he was forced to just admit it because he got banned <laughs> for block system modifications for something else. And then he waits to admit. I like, I like that because an honest person would have admitted it before that. They wouldn't have waited. Because if I, I don't believe AOE is truthful in this regard, because if he had actually been like, and he also says some other pretty interesting things in his videos. Um, in the video, not videos. Oh, hello there. Basically, he says, quote, I'm trying to be a truthful person, and I don't want to be a complete loser, and hide in the closet, hide in the closet about it to 6,000 people that subscribe to my YouTube channel. But he had waited months, months to admit it, and has been lying for all this time saying he's legit, and stuff like that. Now, I don't know necessarily if he has cheated after that, which is very possible considering, you know, he most definitely has a client on his computer and has used used it many times. He said in the comments on um, when somebody asked what client he used, he said vape. So I bet he still has vape if he if that was the client. Although I I can't confirm if he was joking or not, but I I know he said vape. And um, he continues to say, um, my excuse for it was then it was so difficult to get rating higher up because you'd win 50 and lose one, and then, there, and then you would lose all your rating, which is kind of sad because, like, you know, he probably lost a lot of rating to cheaters as well, and then he goes around cheating, draining other people of rating. I mean, the hypocrisy level is just over the top with this. I don't know about you guys watching this video, but, like, for uh, me at least, and many of my fans probably know this, I'm a strong advocate of not cheating. I really dislike cheaters and it's it's quite sad that you're actually cheating in a game to make yourself a video game to like beat other people that are like like this is a game made for fun and you're literally fighting young kids. It's it's just so sad that you have to do stuff like that to win a game. Like can't you just play for fun? Like Oh my. Like, there is no excuse for cheating. You can't just sit here and be like, oh yeah, there's an excuse for me cheating. It's alright, guys. Like, no. That's not okay. There is... It's not okay to cheat, and you should be punished accordingly. Like, just because you're you doesn't mean it makes it acceptable to do something that is unacceptable for everyone else. If it's unacceptable for everyone else, it's unacceptable for you. It's that simple. And he continues to imagine that. Um, this isn't like all of what he said, but I'm just mentioning some main points he said. And these are direct quotes, like exactly what he said. Uh, not changing anything or taking it out of context. He said, and in regards to AoE cheating this season, people saying that, he said, um, you should probably rethink your life because you don't have any evidence of me cheating in this season. But it's like, if, if, like, there's one thing we know, once a cheater, always a cheater. I'm pretty sure everyone can agree on that. And if you're cheating in past seasons, you've cheated on Badline, you've cheated on Mindplex, and you think it's okay to cheat on their servers and Hypixel, then you've probably cheated this season too. Like, it wouldn't surprise anybody. Like, the once a cheater, always a cheater, you know, people are always like, oh, no, that's not, not necessarily the case. But, like, if you actually look at, um, if you look at, like, a lot of the cases, that is true. You look at AJS players. The ones who like closet cheated back in 2015, you know, still cheating in 2017 and then, or 2016, you late 2016 and then, uh, you know, bee hopping, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. You know, they're always going to cheat and many people have said that it's addictive. 
it's like a drug. But I don't know. Probably because they enjoy it so much. I don't know. It's. I think it's quite stupid. Like you can't enjoy a game without playing fair. Then what's the point in playing the game? And then um, he also mentions in the video when uh, I don't remember exactly what he was saying, but he said that he is probably he said quote uh, that he is probably better than most that play rank Skyros except for probably a little bit of the leaderboards, but that that's completely ridiculous. If you're better than everyone else, then I'm not sure you guys probably don't know, but AOE. Uh, you might know. He literally has admitted it that he he leaves games if there's people he recognizes that like are even halfway decent. He literally will go around just leaving games just so he can win games. Like he does not even he will not fight a threat. He won't take a challenge of like fighting you know good people and seeing who's is actually better and who deserves the higher place on the leaderboards. You know he'll just leave the game and it's really sad because like it's ranked scours. You shouldn't. I personally think that the, the way they have it right now is ridiculous. Like being able to leave games and seeing who's in it. Because you can just do that and you can just wait until there's nobody good in the game and then kill those people. And that's not the point of rank because you're supposed to be fighting players around your skill level. That's like how any ELO system works and that's basically what rank Skyros is. It's just a different form of ELO. Like you're going up the ELO leaderboards and then <laughs> You get rewards for being the highest elo. Oh, nice. And I don't think there's a lot of people who are probably better than the AoE. You know, he's not very good at uh, a lot of different things. He's basically just good at. He has pretty decent aim. If if you're not moving, and he doesn't take a lot of knockback, so that makes it fairly easy, especially with low MS to beat people who take more knockback. And you know, especially when you're not actually fighting good players, how are you going to know that you're better than them or not if you're just always scared of fighting them? Because like, if you were better than everyone else, then you wouldn't be afraid of fighting them. You would just be like, okay, this is going to be an easy game because they're not. I know there are like exceptions to, um, you know, you're not always going to be the best player wins, but if you're always scared of fighting good players, then <laughs> how are you better than them? And especially if you're one who's cheated in the past, and you continue to cheat even like to the date that's just absolutely pathetic and sad basically AoE is being a complete hypocrite because like he constantly complains about cheaters and you know they're always ruining his games but then he goes and does it himself and has done it in the past and that's just really sad that you have to be a hypocrite about it like you know there's some things where you know it's hypocritical to do some things and it's really annoying especially with stuff that AoE does all the time. But like, with cheating, bro, like, that's just a whole other level lower. That's really pathetic. And then he he sits there, you know, he blames his ban on Electro for doing it, even though he consistently breaks the rules and is never punished for it. And so I think he completely deserves it. And to be fair, he deserves it much longer. He deserves punishment for cheating in Season 8, especially because he never was caught and was never punished for it. Like, And after all this time, all the stuff he's probably, you know, gained off of that. He doesn't doesn't deserve that. It's really sad. But um yeah, that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments and uh leave a like if you agree. If you don't agree, dislike the video. But let me know what you agreed with, what you didn't agree with, what you think of the situation. And um yeah, that's gonna be it for the video guys, folks. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.